be ready before classes start. Transitioning from high school to college can be a big change for students, with many moving away from family and friends for the first time. For those stressing over this new life chapter, there are ways to prepare before classes begin. From researching academic supports to practicing time management, the following tips can help incoming freshmen get organized and build a foundation for college success. Next, be prepared to be treated as an adult. Two, be prepared to be treated as an adult. The transition from high school to college is more than just a move to a higher level of education. In many ways, it signifies the change from childhood into adulthood. And although students may not feel quite like adults, that's how colleges and universities will treat them, says Josh Stern, Vice President for Student Services and Dean of Students at Gwynedd Mercy University in Pennsylvania. Mail and information surrounding grades and financial aid will go to students instead of parents or guardians, he says. Students need to understand that mom and dad or their parents or supporters might not be getting that information, Stern says. They really need to know how to navigate planning their schedule when the bills are due and how to access their grades. Next, embrace time management tools. Two, embrace time management tools. College offers a sense of independence that many students didn't have in their high school years when teachers and parents kept them on track for graduation. Balancing the academic and social demands of college can be a challenge for even the most diligent students. But there are plenty of digital tools designed for students and a little organization can go a long way in making sure time is used wisely. Smartphone apps and tools can help students limit time on entertainment and social media and maintain their study schedules. I always encourage students to think about things that help them maintain their focus, have a little bit of self-care, but also to have fun, Stern says. They need time to blow off steam, to take care of stress, and there's lots of resources on campuses to help them do that. Next, make a plan for communicating with your parent or guardian. 22. Make a plan for communicating with your parent or guardian. Going off to college isn't just an adjustment for students. It can often be a challenge for parents and guardians, particularly those with first-generation college students. Striking the right balance between letting students be independent and maintaining parental responsibilities can be tough. Students and parents should determine plans for how and when to communicate, especially as it relates to important matters like grades, bills, and financial aid. It's important that they have a conversation with their parents about how often they're going to be in touch, not just to ask for money or to come home to do laundry, Stern says. What are the parents' expectations for their student in terms of communication and sharing information? Next, read as much as possible. Read as much as possible. College coursework consists of substantially more reading than is required in high school. Students should start getting used to the increased workload by reading books during high school and the summer before college. While many students read for pleasure over the summer, some colleges assign a specific book to incoming classes to read prior to the start of the semester, which may then be discussed in introductory courses and other forums. Students looking for a good read should check out some of the common reading programs used at colleges across the nation including multiple New York Times bestsellers and books grappling with societal and political issues. Next, research possible college majors. 622, research possible college majors. At most colleges, freshmen don't need to know right away which college major they will pursue, but students should start thinking about it in preparation for selecting courses. Those interested in pre-law and pre-med, for example, should learn more about those tracks if their college offers them. Experts encourage students to explore academic advising programs at their respective schools to understand what classes are needed to complete requirements for majors or minors, and ultimately their path to graduation day. Next, build a manageable course schedule. Isht. Build a manageable course schedule. While some colleges have students set up their freshman year class schedule at orientation, others do so during the summer. Students who are hoping to graduate early or who have extra requirements due to their major 
may feel compelled to take a heavy course load. But for the average student, it's best to stay within the recommended number of credits and courses per semester, says Sarah Harberson, founder of college consulting firm Application Nation. That number will vary, but she says any more than five courses per semester can create a significant challenge. The college recommends a certain number and a certain number of credits for a reason, she says. All the students who take more than that really do struggle for the most part academically, and then it cuts into everything else they want to take advantage of on that college campus, the social opportunities and the extracurricular opportunities. Next, think carefully about what's needed for your dorm or apartment, 822. Think carefully about what's needed for your dorm or apartment. While some students who attend college locally may elect to live at home, many will move into on-campus dorms or apartments. The living situation will determine what to bring, but a little preparation will go a long way. For instance, the air conditioning in some dorms might not be as strong as some students are used to at home. So bringing a small fan is a good idea, says Connie Horton. Vice President for Student Affairs at Pepperdine University in California. Dorm rooms might also offer a smaller space than at home, so that should also be a consideration. Roommates should coordinate or avoid bringing two of any items when only one is needed, like a refrigerator or microwave. But still bring enough to make your living space personal, Horton says. That can include throw pillows, blankets, or photos. Doing so can bring some familiarity and help you feel more comfortable and at home, she says. Next, stay connected through your school email and student portal. 9-22. Stay connected through your school email and student portal. Important information regarding campus life, classes, or on-campus opportunities might come through email during the summer. So activate your school email account as soon as possible and be sure to check it. Most colleges also have a self-service portal that contains all the information a student will need regarding schedules, credits, financial aid, academic advising, and other important info. Don't wait until the school year starts to use it. Learning how to navigate the internal mechanisms of the university and how they communicate is really important, Stern says. Since students really live in that digital space, It's a lot easier to navigate if they familiarize themselves with it over the summer prior to starting school. Next, polish your people skills. 2010, polish your people skills. College pushes students to develop strong communication and people skills. From group projects to communicating with professors, an ability to convey ideas clearly and work collaboratively will serve students well. That includes dealing with social issues, Many students will find themselves working closely with people from different backgrounds and life experiences, so they should consider taking advantage of diversity and inclusion workshops or books. Part of learning as an adult is learning to have relationships and conversations with neighbors, colleagues, and all kinds of people that are very different from you, Horton says, so this is a good time to practice that. Knowing how to work well with others will also come in handy when it's time to apply for jobs and internships during school and after graduation. Next, make a plan for managing your money. Make a plan for managing your money. The independence that college brings can sometimes get students in trouble financially. Students should speak with their parents or mentors about finances and create a budget, says Jennifer Seitz, Director of Education for Greenlight, a family-based financial planning app. Because expenses can add up, it's prudent to look for ways to save money, she says. Local restaurants and businesses often offer discounts to college students, so make a list of places to go to save money on food, clothes, textbooks, or other items. Also be mindful of spending and plan to be more selective about how and where to spend. While it might feel hard in the moment to skip out on an impromptu food run with friends, saving that for a more meaningful occasion may be best, she says. Know where you want to prioritize some of that discretionary spending, she says. Next, way getting a job freshman year, 1222. Way getting a job freshman year. College is expensive and costs go beyond tuition and fees. Day-to-day expenses make up a significant chunk of a student's college budget. A part-time job can alleviate budget strains, 
but also take time away from classes. Some students may be eligible to participate in the federal work-study program, and college financial aid offices can help answer questions before the semester begins. Finding a job in their desired field of study can also help students gain valuable career experience. Before making the decision to work as college freshmen, students should talk to their families about financial expectations. You want to prioritize and focus on your studies, but you also want to be able to meet your financial needs, Sites says. It's important to find a position that's flexible with your school schedule. Next, keep in touch with the financial aid office. 22. Keep in touch with the financial aid office. If a family's financial situation changes in the months before freshman year, there are options to get more help to pay for college. The website of the Federal Student Aid Office notes that students or families that have had their income affected by a loss of employment, a reduction of work hours, or various other factors may be eligible for additional funds to pay for college by writing an appeal letter. Stay in touch with the financial aid office and ask for more financial support if it's needed. Next, refresh yourself on difficult concepts from high school. Fort Tun, 22. Refresh yourself on difficult concepts from high school. Many college courses build on previous knowledge, and professors assume students enter their classroom with mastery, or at least competent understanding, of material covered in high school. This is particularly true in math and foreign language courses, says Colleen Paparella, founder of college admissions consulting firm DC College Counseling. If there's content students are still unsure about or need more practice with, they should spend some time over the summer before freshman year studying, she says. It's going to be hard to go to the next level of Spanish in college if they didn't fully grasp what they were supposed to have learned in AP Spanish in high school, Paparella says. Next, know how to stay safe on campus. Harjic, 22. Know how to stay safe on campus. The safety is a concern for many students. So researching a college's procedures ahead of time can help them feel safe. Students should practice common sense by being aware of their surroundings and learning about how their college handles safety issues, including sexual assault. Both parents and students should take time before the semester begins to become familiar with campus safety resources and procedures. Families unsure of how to gauge campus safety can use these six questions as a starting point to understand what to look for and expect when their student heads off to college in the fall. Whether you go to college in a major city or you go to college in a very rural area, be aware of your surroundings, Harbison says. On campus, it's almost like you have to have eyes in the back of your head. I don't think it's just reserved for students who go to college in an urban area. Next, prepare for how to deal with social pressure around alcohol or drugs. 22. Prepare for how to deal with social pressure around alcohol or drugs. Away from home, students may find it easier to slip into unhealthy behaviors, including around alcohol and drugs. That is particularly true during freshman year when parties and other social events are aplenty. Students should be mindful of these pressures and recognize that what may feel like minimal participation at first can quickly spiral into academic and legal problems, Horton warns, saying students should begin with the end in mind. It is the beginning of adulthood. They are on their own, she says, yet they're still needing a little help in making healthy choices sometimes. Just think through basics like drink refusal strategies, stuff like that. Next, make the most of orientation activities. Make the most of orientation activities. Orientation typically begins in the weeks and sometimes months before classes start and can be a great way for students to get acclimated and ask plenty of questions. Realize that everyone is trying to make friends and adjust to a new environment, so don't be shy. After orientation, many schools offer unique first-year experiences that help students further connect with their classmates and college community. Attending these sessions can help students meet new friends and get ahead of the curve before the school year starts, Harborson says. They understand the campus. They understand the buses. They understand where things are. They get a feel for college classes. I see that as a huge advantage going into college. Next, 
Research ways to get involved. 22. Research ways to get involved. College provides a number of opportunities for students to explore existing interests or embark on new hobbies. Whether it's joining a musical ensemble or organizing around social issues, many schools make it easy to get involved. Having a plan of action before arriving will help students select meaningful activities and ensure they don't miss important sign-up dates or meetings once school starts. Use social media to discover clubs or organizations you might like to join. Then reach out via email, Paparella says. Look for ones that seem active and inclusive. Once students get onto campus, they can go to some of these activities and already have an idea in mind of what they'd like to sign up for, she says. Next, know where to go for academic help. Know where to go for academic help. Incoming freshmen should be aware that colleges offer a range of ways to get academic help. Many schools have writing centers dedicated to helping students with essays and research papers. Students having difficulty in a class or who just want to speak with a professor one-on-one -on -one should take advantage of open office hours. School libraries can also offer knowledgeable staff and study resources to help students. These options can be especially valuable for international students who might be struggling with English language skills or students who need accommodations. Be proactive in reaching out to the necessary offices if you need support, Harbison says. Most colleges and universities are doing a really great job with those. Next, find more resources for college success. 22. Find more resources for college success.